Coach Wilson, and uh, you know about you know keeping keeping you you know on the right path. Well, it, the message has been pretty similar for, to all of us. You know, just be tough, go out there and do your job. I mean, the, Coach Wilson has a great communication between all the tight ends. It's just go out there, do your job, be tough, be reliable. So that's just kind of been the message to me. Going back to when you were being recruited, I'm sure you probably heard a lot of other schools talk about Ohio State, you know, the tight end is a hood ornament, it's just a blocker. They don't, you know, they're not a real big part of the the, off the, the offensive game plan per se. And now you sit there and you look at the collection of tight ends you guys have here at Ohio State, seems to be very, very different. Was that something that you remember when you were a recruit? Um, as a recruit coming in, I didn't know too much about, you know, who would be playing and where, but now that we have so much depth, I mean, we can do a lot with the tight end position, you know, sub guys in, play a lot of different guys, different positions, so it's been a pretty fun camp to just be able to switch around roles and that kind of stuff. My last question, I'm sure Coach Day wouldn't want you to give away the game plan, but when you guys are going through this, I mean, do you still guys, do you guys still have a lot of two tight end sets? I mean, you're getting the opportunity there with, 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 the, uh, with the two tights? Yeah, I mean, like I said, in camp, it was just a lot of moving around different positions, you know, we're expected to know each position, you know, from the X receiver to the Y to the Y to the Z to the H. I mean, we're all just kind of interchangeable as, as a receiver. So we're expected to know those different roles and we can just go out there and play. What do you feel like your role can be for this team this year? I think coming into this camp, I just really wanted to be a reliable player, more complete player, more uh, dominating blocker, more of a receiving threat this year. What are the things that you feel like you have to do so that you can get on the field more? Be consistent every day. I think that's a huge factor for me. Um, coming in, you know, you want you want to play, and it's frustrating if you're not. But you got to prove that you can play every single day. That you should be consistent. That you can be reliable out there. You talk about that frustration. Has that been hard for you that, you know, three years in, you haven't been able to play as, as much as probably a lot of people thought you were going to at this point? Yeah, for any player who's not playing, if you're first year, second year, third year, fourth year, fifth year, I mean, if you're not playing and you want to be playing, it's frustrating. So, What makes you stay the course? What are the things that makes you, you know, continue to uh, come out here and believe that, hey, I I'm going to eventually get there? I want to prove myself, first off, to the the players around me, to myself, to family, friends, I mean, just proving myself out there and being able to, to, uh, to do a good job and be consistent with everything that comes with being a complete tight end. Is there anything that you look at in your first three years and go, hey, this is something maybe I didn't do as well as I needed to, but now I'm doing better, that can now help me? I think, I mean, it all comes back to consistency. I've had great spurts of, of doing well in one area while I was lacking in another, you know, Maybe I'd be good at blocking, and then that would slag off and be a good receiver. So I think it just all kind of has to culminate. What are the things that you have to do to make sure that you are being you know, equally successful as a receiver and as a blocker? Being attentive in the, in the um, film room, that's huge for me. You know, taking the, the meeting to the field has, has been a huge deal this uh, spring and fall. I know that you know Coach Wilson's talked a lot about the depth that you guys have in that tight end room. Uh, do you feel like this is the strongest this tight end room has been from top to bottom since you've been here? Strongest in a lot of ways. Yeah, we've. I mean, we have a bunch of guys that are very capable of playing different positions. So it's really uh, encouraging that we have so many guys that can do so many different things. I mean, and we're a really close knit group too. So this is definitely the strongest we've been on the field and off the field as well. Thank you.